Good morning, FHS. Let's get excited because it's Friday. Hi, FHS. My name is Emily. Now to the pledge. Please stand. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Since we have now adjusted to the school year, we would like to welcome our new staff here at FHS. We welcome our new counselor, Ms. Braun, the new business teacher, Mr. Johnson, our new English teacher, Mrs. Lillian and Ms. <coughs> Angela, our new facts teacher, Mrs. Mowdy, our new media slash school improvement specialist teacher, Mrs. Cotter, our new science teachers, Mr. Warwick and Mr. Smith. We also got a new exceptional learner and associates teacher, Mr. Britt and Mr. Phillips. Finally, our new social studies teacher, Mr. Bowsman. On yesterday's trivia, the correct answer was St. Joseph College. Unfortunately, no one got the bonus question right. We would have accepted St. Joe Indy or St. Joe Marion. Congratulations to Mrs. Russian, who was the first person to get the answer right. Today's trivia is who will win tonight's football game? Send in your guesses today. Also, reminder, when you submit an answer to the trivia questions, please email them to HGTV, not Mr. Sully. Coach Kids Club will be a virtual club to help high school students connect, expand their social emotional skills, and help others. Some of the topics will be how to deal with conflict, how to deal with loneliness, and much more. A happy birthday goes out to Thomas Dell and Nathan Hurlis. Now to Sports with Violet. Hello, hot dogs. Thursday night, the soccer team traveled to North Montgomery to face the Chargers in conference play. The hot dogs dominated the match from the starting kickoff by playing really well. Excellent passing and spacing on the field resulted in six first-half goals from five different players. Felipe Tovar, Yabani Trinado, Israel Santillan, and Damian Lopez each scored a goal. Gail Hernandez scored two goals in the first half. In the second half, Frankfurt continued dominating and added four more goals from three different players. Avi Hernandez and Uziel Matias each scored a goal. Christian Mora scored two goals. Keeper Alex Flores recorded the shutout for the Hot Dogs. The Hot Dogs are now 4-2 on the season and 2-0 in conference play. The Lady Golfers took on West Lafayette and Harrison on Thursday night. Sydney Caesar led the way with the 39 taking first place. Emily Shipley and Raylan Mitchell both finished with the 53. The volleyball team beat Delphi last night 3-1. Allison Timmons had a career night with 10 kills and 4 blocks. Lindsay Gay had a season high of 28 assists and 6 kills. The Dogs had a perfectly balanced offensive night with Morgan Adamson, Tara Martinez, Bella Colby, and Macy Starrett with 5 kills apiece. Sydney Whitaker added 16 digs for the team, and Mercedes Tony was 11-11 serving in game, 4 to help the team seal the victory. In JV action, the team played well, but fell to Delphi 0-2. Emma Pillion had a balanced night with four kills and aces, and five assists. Erica Pillion added six digs and an ace, and Amber Hutchin had five kills. Jazzy O'Pell had four assists and four digs. Great job, girls, and to anyone who else played great that night. That's it from me for the week, hot dogs. Have a great weekend. Now, back to your hosts. The volleyball team travels to Peru on Monday. Please note that Peru is only allowing family members to attend the match, and only two family members per player will be permitted to buy tickets. Tonight's football game um, will be a pay-per-view uh, on IC Sports Network. If you're a hot dog season pass holder, you will get this uh, for free, a bonus. If you're not a season pass holder, you can purchase a single pass on icsportsnetwork.com on the tab pay-per-view. And you can also find the link on the chatter. This game is a must-see. I am sure it will be just exciting as last week's game that came down to the last play. It looks to be a pretty even matchup, and it has been over 25 years since the Hot Dogs have played the Gophers in football. I am so excited, and I got lucky enough that I got a ticket for the game. Wow, Emily, you are so lucky to have, um, to have a ticket. I have to work tonight. Maybe my boss will let me watch it on my phone. The Hot Dog Network will like to, and the Frankfurt Athletics would like to thank our viewers viewers for watching our pay-per-view broadcast. You are financially supporting our hot dog athletics and education of our network students. Next week, I'll be running camera two for the soccer game. Don't forget that JV football will play this Saturday against Carter Ritter at 10 a.m. Today is the last day to sign up for Best Buddies. Sign up on using the uh, link sent to your email. This Sunday, August 30th, is your last chance to order activity masks, 
ear loop masks, coolers, and towels from the custom hot dog store. You can find the link in the hot dog chatter. That's it for today's announcements. Go, help, go support the football team at Clay and Perry. A game you don't want to miss. Have a great weekend and we'll see you back here Monday. That was blocked at the net, 19 to 10. You know, and it appears that Delphi's run out of gas now. They they don't have 